Hello and welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Great to have you here. Today we're going to take a look at this watch, the Steel Dive SD1970, uh, which is a homage to the famous Seiko Captain Willard. And this possibly is the best value watch on AliExpress. I'll give you my reasons behind that uh, as we go through the review, but I really do think this is a fantastic watch straight off the bat. I recently did a video where it was my top five watches I'd reviewed in 2022. I'll put a link to that into the uh, corner. And I can already tell you that this will be in the top five. In fact, I'll be impressed if it's not the top one. It's setting the standards really high. I know I bought it in 2022, but I'm going to review it in 2023. So that's the way I'm going to work it. Great watch. Cost around £70 from AliExpress. Um, and it's got so much going for it, it really has. Um, we'll just take a look at the, the packaging it comes in as well. I mean, it comes in this lovely box. Um, I've had to undo the clips already because they're a bit of a bit stiff, the clips. I'll try not to smack the camera one. Nice. To take your link out. It's only a plastic one, but that's fine. Uh, that was round the watch face, I think. Uh, warranty card, instructions. Lovely padded box, uh, as you can see on here, they've got a diver series, a pilot series, and a, an engineer series. I certainly be looking at those going forward. You also notice that I took a link out, so this watch was very big um, on my wrist, and I actually took a link out, so it was off to a great start already. But great watch, as I say, about £70 from AliExpress, and I'm really pleased with it. Uh, let's see what we got for our money. So I realised I didn't mention the other colours previously, so this is available in a blue and a green on steel bracelets as well as rubber straps. I'll put a link in the description anyway. So what do you get for that £70? Not the cheapest watch by any means. I've covered that one, I'll put a link in the corner. So get quite a bit of watch. Diameter wise it's 44 millimetres. Lug to lug is 46.8, so it is quite compact for a 44mm watch. Strap width is a 20mm. Thickness is 13.5mm, so it is quite a, a thick watch. Again, it's an automatic, which we'll come on to in a little bit. But weight wise, obviously, it's a large build watch. We're looking at 187 grams, so it is quite a heavy watch on your wrist. Now, I like that. I like to feel that the watch is on my wrist. Um, some people might find that a little bit on the heavy side, but it doesn't wear large like a 44 mil on the wrist. Um, my wife says that it looks like a big watch, but the dial is quite small, which is a fair point. You've got a lot of uh, metal between the edge of the, uh, the body of the watch and the dial, but doesn't wear big on the wrist. Really, really comfortable to wear. Build of the watch. Full stainless steel build. We've got some really nice just brushing just on the top body of the watch, as you can probably just see, hopefully see there. Really nice. On the sides, just nicely polished. On the back, uh, which we'll come to the case back in a little bit, but you'll, you'll notice it's rather coarse on the finishing on the back, and I do think that looks a little bit unfinished. It's one of the niggles I have with the watch. You don't feel it at all. There's no problem wearing it, but it just feels like they gave the love and attention to the top. It would have been nice if they would have just finished the back off a little bit better, I think, with regards to that. Now, the crystal is sapphire crystal with AR coating. You can just see the blue on it. No real light plate unless it's really bright light like, like that, I suppose. And then we've got the crown. It's a screw down crown with the Steel Dive Diving Series logo, as I no doubt know now, uh, on it. Um, and it's a screw down, he says. Can be a little bit of a, oh, there we go, we got it. Can be a little bit of a pain just to start it screwing down, but it does add to that. And it comes with 200 meters of water resistance. Well, claim 200 meters of water resistance, as I would say. Um, but that is just great. It's got all the features that you'd want off a high end watch for less than probably 70 pounds, $80. Now, dial wise, I think, as my wife pointed out, it is quite a small dial on, on this such a large watch, to be honest. Obviously, this is the black version. 
So we've got white little minute markers just on the outer track here. Then we've got a date window here at the three o'clock, which is nicely framed. Not color matched. I prefer a color matched one, but I understand why if this was, you were using this as a diver, it would, you would want that to stand out maybe. Indices applied, filled with loom. They're very short, stubby rectangles, I suppose, not quite squares at most of the hour markers. Then at the six and nine, we've got the rectangles much longer. Then at the top, I think they're trapeziums, if I've got that right, I may have that wrong. Two of them just forming that nice arrow, so it's nice and bold at the top of the, well, at the 12 o'clock. Underneath, we've got steel dive printed on, and then automatic water, 200 meters, highlighted in red, resistant. It is clean. The logo is a bit large, but it doesn't look too bad. You can get sterile versions of this, I believe, um, but I haven't actually seen one of them. If you're into sterile dials, that might be somewhat rather good. Now, bezel, 120 click diver's bezel. It's a really nice action on this. Clicks around lovely. It's a ceramic bezel as well. So again, the specs is just really good on this watch. It gets it round to 12 o'clock. There's very little back play in it. It's just really well done. It's really well built. Now, the loom on this thing is just fantastic. I'll put some video up if I've managed to film it. If not, I'll use the marketing one. It looks exactly like it does on the marketing, to be fair to it. We've got some beautiful sort of BGW9 on the bezel. And then we've got, uh, well, I'm guessing sort of C3 in the center. And it lasts ages. You can look at this at seven o'clock in the morning and still read it, no problem at all. Oddly enough, it is the hands that tend to fade first, uh, but they're still readable at, say, 6 o'clock, so it easily passes my 3 a.m. test, which is basically, can you read this watch at 3 o'clock in the morning in the, in the dark? Yeah, of course you can. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, I forgot to mention the hands. They're pretty simple, really. They're just long battens filled with loom. Second hand is thin with a double-dotted arrowhead at the end, one in red. And then there's a little loom pit just on the end as well. So that shows up as well. It's really clean. It's really simple. I know it's a homage, but it's just really good for the price. Definitely, definitely the best watch on AliExpress at, at the moment. So case back wise, we've got the, well, what's it say on here? It says oh, stainless steel, automatic movement, NH35. 200 meters by steel dive, all stainless steel. Now we've got the logo, well, etched into the back really, well, you know, etched out of the back, I suppose. And it's a diver's mask over an oxygen canister. And then some flippers, they don't quite look right, the flippers, so the logo's a little bit weird, but I appreciate that they've put some effort into it, particularly identifying it as a, a diver series watch. Now the back, as I say, is the bit where it looks just it looks a little unfinished with this brushing on the back but again it's a tool watch i suppose nobody else is really going to see that um yeah it's not the end of the world i just feel that it would have been nice with maybe with a a display case now the nh35 movement in there gives you 41 power, uh, hours of power reserve and i think its accuracy is plus or minus 20 to 40 seconds a day a really popular nh35 uh is in a lot of automatic watches. So it's a, it's a workhorse at the end of the day and this has not let me down at all. Um, can easily wear this for a few days without touching it. It does hack, it does hand wind um, and it's just solid all round, even the movement itself. Now bracelet wise, it's pretty straightforward, pretty standard three link bracelet, all stainless steel. It has no issues with edges on it being rough or anything like that. Now, the new version of this, which came out in November 2022, I believe, has this milled clasp on it, whereas before, I believe, they were pressed. So if you order one now, and as I say, I'll put a link in the description, you'll get the new milled version. And I think that does make a difference. It's really nice and solid, double security and a clap, clip over, and you've got six holes of micro adjust as well. I don't think you can adjust it on the fly, but that six holes really does give you a lot of options to get a really good fit 
with this watch, and then you kind of just do it on the fly, can you? Um, so you won't have a problem getting a great fit with this watch. Bracelet is lovely, really solid. I say it does add to the weight, um, but I love it. It was really long as well, as I say. My 8 inch wrist and I ended up taking a link out of it to make it fit. Um, but I've still got a bit of room on the micro just should I need to adjust that. So here it is on my 8 inch wrist. Doesn't get lost on there, obviously I've got big wrists. I've got room to play with on here because I've got it on the closest micro adjust. So I've got five more holes I can pull it onto if I need to. It does sit a little proud at 13 and a half mil, but it looks really good. I love this watch. I've been asked about it, especially at night when you see the loom on it, it looks fantastic. I've struggled to find much wrong with this. I suppose the only niggles I would have is A, you might not be a fan of the case shape. If you're not a fan of the Captain Willard, this case shape will put you off. But they do have other options, which I will be exploring in the future. Um, probably the back of the case finishing could be better. It just looks a little unfinished after such a nice rest of the watch. I think that would probably be my only niggles with this. But for the price, it's a great watch. The specs are fantastic. As I say, I'll put a link in the description if you want to check one out. Keep an eye out for coupons and other sales coming up on AliExpress because you might be able to pick this up even cheaper than it is at the moment. Now, if that isn't your type of watch, this might be your type of watch. This is the Casio Duro, the MDV 106. This was my watch of the year last year that I reviewed. Fantastic watch. I'll put a link to that in the corner. Um, thanks for watching and hopefully see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.